today I'm going to show you how to use a vacuum gauge to tell what's going on inside of your engine. Now there are a huge amount of things you can learn about what's going on inside of your engine with one of these. And uh, in this video I'm going to go through pretty much all of them. Uh, but first I'm going to show you how to connect this and how to actually use it. Now a normal vacuum condition is, uh, and there's a little region here for it, occurs between 17 and 21 to 22 inches of mercury. And inches of mercury is a unit of pressure. So we want it to be in this green region right here. And <clears throat> another thing we can do to sort of confirm the good condition is we can blip the throttle. If you have an electronic throttle you're going to have this, you can't really do this from outside. You're going to have to have someone do it from inside. But you just blip the throttle real quick, just open it up and let it go back and it should it should jump down close to zero, then go above to around 25 and then settle back down in this region. So we're going to do that. And then after that, I'm going to go through all the different scenarios that you can come across when using one of these and what you can actually diagnose. So when you read vacuum on an engine, you want to pick a line that comes right from the intake manifold and is not some routed off, routed off line. <clears throat> so we're, we're going to take this line right here in the middle. I already pulled back the little clamp holding it on, so we're going to take that off and that's the line we're going to tap for to read vacuum. Just take our angle pliers here, take that off, and that's the line we're going to tap. Now, if you get a good kit, your vacuum gauge will come with a bunch of fittings that you can put on the end of it. You know, they have a T fitting. This is really easy to tap into a line. You put the gauge right here, and then the line just goes on these two fittings. But what I'm going to use, so I'm going to use this, this fitting right here. Um, so this can just go into my hose here, like that. There. So now, I'm just going to stick this in the line. And since it's wet, just going to create a seal. And I can get vacuum from that. Okay, so the, when we take the vacuum, we're just going to take this and just stick it into this line like that. There. Now, I'm going to start the engine and look at the gauge. Okay, I'm going to start the engine. Uh, the scale you're look looking at is this inside scale, 15, 20, 25. That's the scale you're looking at. This is zero, so it's going to come this way. Alright, <clears throat> so we're reading... 20 inches of mercury. Now remember what I said, that's a healthy motor, but another a way to um, verify that it's healthy is to blip the throttle real quick and it should drop towards zero, then go above towards 25, and then settle back down. There you go. Now, Notice that it's staying steady. That's a good sign. If you have any sort of restriction in your intake system, then um, you will read a higher than normal reading. So this is the normal condition. So if it's if it's a steady reading above this, it's likely you have a restriction in your intake system. An exhaust obstruction or a damaged exhaust pipe uh, will show itself by when you uh, when you start the engine up it will go it will be a normal vacuum but if you if it steadily starts to decrease and decrease down to about between zero and five especially while you're revving the engine if you rev a steady engine and it starts to go down that is a sign that there's some sort of exhaust obstruction um, sometimes the pipes can damage on the inside 
if you have an intake manifold leak or any type of uh, large vacuum leak, it, it'll show itself by a steady, a very low steady reading. A steady reading between 8 and 14 inches of mercury indicates uh, incorrect valve timing. There's something wrong with the valve timing. Maybe the timing chain slipped or something like that. If you have a periodic drop in vacuum as the motor is running, that indicates leaking valves. Um, sticking valves also show the same periodic drop in vacuum, but it will be less regular. If it's regular, if it's a regular periodic drop, then that's leaking valves. If it's a periodic drop that's irregular, that's sticking valves. A fast vibrating needle indicates worn valve guides. So the number of guides worn is proportional to how fast it's vibrating. On accelerating the engine, um, you can diagnose weak valve springs because the gauge will swing back, it'll swing back and forth and the extent of the swing is dependent on how high you're revving the engine. So if, you, if the needle is steady and you start to rev the engine and then the needle starts to swing back and forth, that's a sign that you have weak valve springs. A head gasket leak can be seen by a regular swing or float between 5 and 19 inches of mercury. Worn piston rings show themselves by a steady low reading. Um, you can confirm this by accelerating the engine to about about 4000 RPM and then close the throttle quickly and the gauge should momentarily read between 3 and 7 inches above normal. Any figure below this would indicate a piston ring problem. And finally uh, improper idle mixture is indicated by readings that float slowly between 13 and 17 inches of mercury. So you can learn a lot about what's going on inside of your engine with a vacuum gauge. Um, thanks for watching. If, you, if this was helpful, like, thumbs up, and uh, subscribe. See ya.